Um, you want me to answer it, or my answer is fine, good enough? No, no, no. no. It's, it's, uh, well, uh, any rational person would be concerned uh, about the statements that are coming out of uh, Netanyahu and the Trump administration. So uh, we are concerned, uh, but we believe that uh, if they make that mistake, uh, the Iranian people would not want to welcome it, but they would have to uh, resist. Sooner or later, people will devise mechanisms to evade U.S. sanctions. Have we tried to circumvent U.S. sanctions for 40 years, and we will continue to do it. I don't think so. I think this instrument that the European Union has created, although it's not uh, the best instrument, but it's a, it should be an indication for the United States that this policy of coercion will not last. We have absorbed economic pain. It is the obligation of the Iranian government to reduce that pain on the population, and that is what we are doing prevented anybody from selling Iran any weapons. Then they complained, why do we uh, build our own missiles? Well, historically, our relations with the Jews has been excellent. We continue to have Jews in Iran. Jews have a representative in the Iranian parliament. So being anti-Semitic is just ridiculous. We produce not the two-page document that President Trump signed with the uh, chairman uh, of uh, North Korea, but uh, a 150-page document with every detail.